This is Bob Payne, Chief Investment Strategist here at Payne Capital Management with this week's market update. Stock market fell Friday, closing out a losing week, month, and quarter as investors wrestled with more signs of persistently high inflation. All three indices ended at their lowest closing levels since 2020. The Dow Jones Industrial Average is down 20% for the year. The S&P 500 is off 24%, and the tech-heavy NASDAQ composite has fallen 32%. Stock market desperately wants to put in a low. The Federal Reserve just won't let it. U.S. economic data remains strong as jobless claims fell below 200,000 for the first time since May, a sign that the Fed will have to keep raising interest rates to slow down inflation. Then on Friday, the Commerce Department reported that the Core Personal Consumption Expenditures Price Index, the CPE, the Federal Reserve's preferred measure of inflation, rose six-tenths of 1% in August a tick above the expected five-tenths of 1% increase. Unfortunately, the report echoed the larger-than-expected increase that we saw for the Consumer Price Index in August and supports the Fed's current hawkish stance. So although it appears inflation may remain high for the shorter term, expectations for long-term inflation are actually dropping. The expectation for average annual inflation over the next 10 years, as seen in the price of the 10-year Treasury Inflation Protected Security, is down to about 2.19%. That's down from a multi-decade high of about 3% hit earlier this year. Now, several forces are lowering long-term inflation expectations. Oil is down just over 30% from its recent multi-year high. Supply, specifically in the retail industry, is soaring, bringing down prices, and the Federal Reserve's actions are actually having their intended effect by slowing economic demand. Now, if you're feeling pessimistic, about the future of the market, you're not alone. Market sentiment right now is overwhelmingly negative, as it should be. The decline in financial assets this year has been very painful. But losing value is not the same as losing money. You only lose money if you sell. Now that's the bad news. The good news, bull markets begin when everyone least expects them to. The conditions we see today, we have all seen before in prior bear markets and are actually a good backdrop for a new bull market to begin. When is unknowable and will only be known in hindsight. Just remember, every decline in history has been temporary, and every decline in history has been erased by a rally to new all-time highs. The hope here is that we're almost there. Hey, my son Ryan and I, we have 68 years of combined industry experience of building low-cost, tax-efficient, goal-based portfolios. For your free evaluation, all you have to do is text or call 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Or just simply call 844-PLAN-NYC. That's 844-PLAN-NYC. Hey, this is Bob Payne. I'm the Chief Investment Strategist of Payne Capital Management.